Francis Scott Key said what held that flagpole in place at that unusual angle were Patriots' bodies. Oh, wow. <laughs> What's going on, YouTube? Thanks for watching. I'm Ed. And I'm Kat. And we are The Bruce React. React. We've got a different kind of reaction for you today, uh, a video that was suggested. And it is the Star Spangled Banner as you've never heard it. Mm. So the Star Spangled Banner is obviously... I, I, I know. What is it? Captain America. The, the, the kidding. What, what is it? It's the, the anthem. The US National yeah, Anthem. Yeah. Anthem. Their, not our anthem. Not our anthem. Their anthem. An Australian might. But while you're here, if you wouldn't mind, like the video. Greatly appreciate it. And if you want to subscribe, we're looking to hit 20k subs. We're almost there. We just need your help. You could be the one. Let's get into this Star Spangled Banner as you've never heard it. Oh, well, I don't even know if I've heard... Well, no, I've probably heard the full version. And the rockets red glare oh. The bomb birth me 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 Here we go, here we go. Right. Here we go. Shh, 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 shh. Why is I think, is this serious? There was a lawyer once, his name was Francis Scott Key. He penned a song that I'm sure you're aware of, you've seen it, it's in most hymnals throughout our churches, it's called the National Anthem. It is our song as an American. We go, however, to a ball game, we stand in our church services and we sing the words of that song and they float over our minds and our lips and we don't even realize what we're singing. Most of us have memorized it as a child, but we've never really thought about what it means. Let me tell you a story. Francis Scott Key was a lawyer in Baltimore. The colonies were engaged in vicious conflict with the mother country, Britain. Because of this conflict and the protractedness of it, they had accumulated prisoners on both sides. The American colonies had prisoners and the British had prisoners. And the American government initiated a move. They went to the British and they said, let us negotiate for the release of these prisoners. They said, we want to send a man out to discuss this with you. They were holding the American prisoners in boats about a thousand yards offshore. And they said, we want to send a man by the name of Francis Scott Key. He will come out and negotiate to see if we can make a mutual exchange. On the appointed day in a rowboat, he went out to this boat and he negotiated with the British officials. And they reached a conclusion that men could be exchanged on a one-for-one -one basis. Francis Scott Key, jubilant with the fact that he'd been successful, went down below in the boats and what he found was a cargo hold full of humanity, men. And he said, men, I've got news for you tonight. You're free. He said, tonight I have negotiated successfully your return to the colonies. He said, you'll be taken out of this boat, out of this filth, out of your chains. As he went back up on board to arrange for their passage to the shore, the admiral came and he said, we have a slight problem. He said, we will still honor our commitment to release these men, but it'll be merely academic after tonight. It won't matter. Hmm? And Francis Scott Key said, what do you mean? He said, well, Mr. Key, he said, tonight we have laid an ultimatum upon the colonies. Your people will either capitulate and lay down the colors of that flag that you think so much of, or you see that fort right over there, Fort Henry? He said, we're going to remove it from the face of the earth. <laughs> he said, how are you going to do that? He said, if you will, scan the horizon of the sea. And as he looked, he could see hundreds of little dots. And he said, that's the entire British war fleet. He said, all of the gunpowder, all of the armament is being called upon to demolish that fort. It will be here within striking distance in a matter of about two and a half hours. He said, the war is over. These men would be free anyway. He said, you can't shell that fort. He said, that's, that's a large fort. He said, it's full of women and children. He says, it's predominantly... Is that the Pentagon? It is somewhat of a it's Pentagon a, It's shape. a Pentagon. Uh, <laughs> Not no. the Pentagon. No, but if you are obviously American and you're watching this, or you're just a history buff, where was Fort Henry? Because uh, I just remember a lot of that took place like along the coast, like the Carolinas and all of that. Well, we all know me. I'm useless. <laughs> 
You're so, not useless. You just have specific knowledge and you haven't watched The Patriot with Mel Gibson like I have that many times. <laughs> um, I have it. Yes, it does look like a Pentagon, but no, it's not the oh, Pentagon. No, but maybe that Pentagon but, in Washington, uh, D.C. was a throwback. Not a throwback. Yeah. Permanently not a military fort. He said, don't worry about it. They said, we've left them a way out. And he said, what's that? He said, do you see that flag way up on the rampart? He said, we have told them that if they will lower that flag, the shelling will stop immediately. And we'll know that they've surrendered. And you'll now be under British rule. Francis Scott Key went down below and told the men what was about to happen. And they said, how many ships? He said, hundreds. The ships got closer. Francis Scott Key went back up on top and he said, men, I'll shout down to you what's going on as we watch. As twilight began to fall and as the haze hung over the ocean as it does at sunset, Suddenly, the British war fleet unleashed. <clears throat> he says the sound was deafening. There were so many guns that there were no reliefs. He said it was absolutely impossible to talk or hear. He said suddenly the sky, although dark, was suddenly lit. And he says from down below, all he could hear the men, the prisoners, saying was, Tell us where the flag is. What have they done with the flag? Is the flag still flying over the rampart? Tell us. One hour, two hours, three hours into the shelling. Sorry, uh, is this is this true? Yeah. Okay. Well, it's an account. No, uh, yeah, I didn't. Um, <coughs> but these are actual events. These are actual events. Yeah, this is during the War of Independence, so 1776. Oh, this is this is that. This is this when is they talk America about first their... Britain. So this is when they became a country that broke away from Britain. So this. So is... they had British like um, um, explorers, and they yeah, yeah, came. Right. They yeah. went to to went America. To Plymouth Rock. All yeah. That stuff. All yeah. that. What whatever that is, they went there, like they did here. Yeah. Um, so they were all British peoples. Or were they well, convicts no, too? Well, no. Because when uh, it's some somewhere, I guess you can help us in the comments. Tell us the history of America. <laughs> Um, but like no no so dog uh, it. they got over in like the late 1400s I want to say maybe no 16 maybe 16 they, they'd been there for at least 150 160 years right so at this point you're talking about generations they're still immigrants oh okay people, okay sure but sure, sure. generations of them would call themselves Americans at that point oh. 1776 definitely I wonder and how and like they 100 got... years at least so yeah how do they get 16 I'm going to ask this question how do they get such how do we get such different accents like we don't sound well the French alike. were also there too it's a yeah, French yeah. they well, have maybe more French in yeah there's on French them. in there and you, you had some yeah, yeah. yeah. let's not get into linguistics um, okay, anyway, so let's get back did, into it sorry yeah okay it, so it was based on this is their independent yes fight war whatever every time the bomb would explode <laughs> and it would be close to the flag they could see the flag in the illuminated red glare of that bomb and Francis Scott Key would report down to the men below it's still up it's not down The Admiral came and he said, your people are insane. He said, what's the matter with them? He said, don't they understand this is an impossible situation? Francis Scott Key said, he remembered what George Washington had said. He said, the thing that sets the American Christian apart from all other people in the world is he will die on his feet before he'll live on his knees. The Admiral said, you know who else said that? Hmm? Peter Garrett, Midnight Oil. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have now instructed all of the guns to focus on the rampart to take that flag down. He said, we don't understand something. Our reconnaissance tells us that that flag has been hit directly again and again and again, and yet it's still flying. We don't understand that. <laughs> But he said, now we're about to bring every gun for the next three hours to bear on that point. Jeez. Francis Scott Key said the barrage was unmerciful. All that he could hear was the men down below praying. The prayer. God, keep that flag flying. 
where we last saw it. The sunrise came. He said there was a heavy mist hanging over the land, but the rampart was tall enough. There stood the flag, completely nondescript, in shreds. The flagpole itself was at a crazy angle, but the flag was still at the top. No? What? Is this the thing where they hold the flag up and there's like... like a, uh, They have like, um, you know, silhouettes or statues of... Um, Oh, no. I know what you're talking about. No. No. That was World War II. Oh, Iwo Jima. Yeah. Okay. The picture of the like, soldiers lifting the flag. That's just, I just no. had that image that that's what this was. Well, it's... You know, because it's leaning it's quite iconic. No, 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 no. No, okay. No. All right. Yeah, the, I don't know. Francis Scott Key went aboard and immediately went into Fort Henry to see what had happened. What he'd found had happened was that that flagpole and that flag had suffered repetitious direct hits. And when hit had fallen. But men, fathers, who knew what it meant for that flag to be on the ground. Although knowing that all of the British guns were trained on it, walked over and held it up humanly until they died their bodies were removed and others took their place Francis Scott Key said what held that flagpole in place at that unusual angle were Patriots bodies oh, wow. <laughs> he penned the song oh say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming. Or the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that the flag was still there. Yeah. Oh say, does that star-spangled banner yet fly and wave? or the land of the free and the home of the brave. Wow. The debt was demanded. The price, it was paid. Oh, say, that makes so much can sense. Can you see by the dawn's early light what so proud Flag was 
Yeah. Yes, it is. Um, that was that was wow. awesome. Oh, what was that? O- obviously. <laughs> that um, was awesome. That I wow. I would never have taken the time to 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 watch or learn that. And yeah, that is what a awesome. great suggestion. You know what though? Let's like watch all every country's national anthem. It would have some origin like that. Do you think? Yeah. Some ori- origin well, story. It depends how the na- nation was um, formed. Like you know, that's what's so Often interesting. Often it's over war, isn't it? Yeah, you're right. Um, but not necessarily does that then translate into it into the anthem. Yeah, yeah. You know, so no, 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 it's true. No, but. History is so interesting and we're so quick mm-hmm. to just mm-hmm. move on and make today history. Mm-hmm. But like, mm-hmm. yeah, how nations are built, how the great things that we have were fought for and became the great things we yeah. have. The story for yeah. that was always a struggle. And yeah, it's just really interesting. That was great. What was, a really good suggestion. Yeah. If you have any other things that you think we might want to watch um, from any kind of field you think that are interesting, that you find interesting, pop it in the, the comments um, down below. 